Right then, so this uh, rear axle is tightened too. Um, oh, can't remember. Right then, so to uh, attack the brake and the chain, obviously we need to get the back wheel off for the brake and uh, while we're at it, might as well sling the chain on while we're doing that. So you're not going to bend the pin on, no, look the pin and knacker it, it's actually pin out. So it's a 17mm on this side, actually I'll swap these bars over, and it's a 24mm on this side. So we've got our 17 dry bar, yeah, we've got our 24 Surprised, it's just a lot of surface rust. It's not really knackered. So, on these chains, they have these adjusters, which is basically this clamp inside this housing, which has got an elongated hole, and then you just adjust this backwards and forwards. There's a little notch in here and lines at the top. So, we're on uh, from here one line, two line, and a half, and the same on the other side. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yuck. Right, so as you can see, there's a lot of shit under here. Scrape it all the way. Right. So, there's this whiplash guard, which is this bit of steel here. Protect the engine in case of a catastrophic chain malfunction. Is we have the output, the output shaft of the gearbox, the nut on top, and this is a lock washer. So you can see it's bent in two places. So we need to flatten that out. Feel it all that it's jamming. Stop what you're doing. Come back with a hammer and uh... right. Then. So this is a M27 uh, nut that's talked to. 127 newton meters is we stuck a hammer across the swing arm so the wheel catches it and uh, the chain will lever it and oops you can't see still not that loose but um, we are turning so that did undo it so that was 128 127 newton meters, which is absolutely ridiculous. So underneath this nut is our uh, lock washer. So as you can see, I got it pretty flat. You can flatten that out, and then I'm a sprocket, which I know is going to be a pain in the ass, and it's not going to want to come. But you can see it's on the splined end of the shaft. And you find this with a lot of bigger motorcycles because a lot more torque transferred instead of having one of these tab washers. And it's weird that they've drilled the holes for it, but it doesn't have it. So what I'm doing now is give the... 
top of the chain, top of the sprocket, a knock, and that causes it to free up a bit. Like so, and then you just get a pull, and off she comes. So we undo our chain, and voila, one sprocket. Now this sprocket really isn't in bad nick. Um, but see you later. And it says 17 on the back. And just remember the orientation, it's got this boss here and not on this side. Chain's out. Chain's not out, but chain's ready to come out. And uh, we'll move over to the uh, back end again, see if we can get this axle moving. So we get the big tapping stick wherever I've put that. I can't see it. I can't see for looking. <laughs> it's stuck between the forks, obviously, you mug. So we turn the wheel. It's going to take some whacking, is that? Continue this success of movement. We need a punch. But well, not everyone has a punch. Now she's moving where it was uh, kind of rusted together, that's broken so it moves a lot easier. Get okay, our small socket. 